city of Samaria called Sakar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and so Jesus, wearied as he was with his journey, sat down beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. If you knew the gift of God and who it was that was saying to you, give me a drink, you would ask him and he would give you, and would give you living water. Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where do you get <laughs> where do you get that living well of water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it, him, himself, his sons, and his cattle? Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give will never thirst. The water that I shall give will become in him a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband. You're right in saying you have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one who you now have is not your husband. This you have said true. Sir, I perceive that you are the prophet. Our fathers worshiped on this mountain, and you say that Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship? Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such the Father seeks to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. I know that the Messiah is coming, he who called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. I who speak to you am he. Just then his disciples came. They marveled that he was talking with a woman, but none said, What do you wish? Or, Why are you talking with her? So the woman left her water jar and went away into the city and said to the people, Come see a man who said to me that all that I ever did, can this be Christ? They went out of the city and were coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples, they saw him saying, Rabbi, eat. I have food to eat which none of you know. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him food? My food is to do the will of him who sent me and accomplish his work. You do not say, do you not say that there are four months and then the harvest will come? I tell you, lift your eyes and see that the fields are already white for harvest. He who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, so that the sower and the reaper may rejoice together. For there is a saying in this whole truth. One sows and another reaps. I send you to reap for that which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He said to me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his words. They said to the woman, it is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. <laughs> 